Hey, welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, uh, well, it's this Thursday, September the 16th, 2021, and it's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, a big shout out to the 20 people who watched this video yesterday. That was eight younger folks and 12 uh, folks, uh, older folks like myself. Thanks so much for that views. But here's the thing. You know, it's, it, it, well, I give thanks for the 20, but it's still a little embarrassing when a country the size of Israel has 60 views in one day, and the U.S. the size of Israel, and the country the size of the U.S. only has 20 views per day. You know, we, we, you know, we should be getting hundreds of views on these things every day. Okay, but nonetheless, still thanks to the six to the uh, 20 folks who did who did like. Of course, the other thing is, uh, 20 likes, uh, 20 views should equal 20 likes. So you you, you, you we need to step up to the plate. Uh, Click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on that share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter, and also share it with your friends and family and emails and text messages, okay? So let's just get, let's just get this show on the road here for the America now. You know, one of the interesting things about COVID-19 is how, is how it's being tracked, okay? Diseases like heart, heart disease and cancer are, are tracked one year at a time. So every January 1st, heart disease and cancer is set to zero. But yet, for some reason, with COVID-19, we count it from, from the very first case and the very first death onward. Okay, which is kind of curious. Uh, a, a quick note about the COVID-19 vaccine. Should you get vaccinated? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, if the alternative to minor side effects is death, I think I'll take the side effects. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm over 65, and the older you are, remember, the, the single biggest determining factor is probably still age. Okay, and my age is over 65, all right? So also, but, you know, make sure you get that vaccine, okay? But the thing about the vaccine is this. Two things to keep in All that being said, two things need to keep in mind. The vaccine will not keep us from getting COVID-19. What it will do, it will reduce the severity of, of disease and it'll reduce the chances that you'll die, particularly if that could be over age 65. Okay? So you see these first numbers. This, this is since January 2020, we've had 41.6 million cases. And since, uh, let's, let's say, in the, the end of February 2020, we've had 666,000 deaths. Okay? But here, here you can see the numbers for 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 the for the current year, January to July, and you can see this huge increase here in cases. It's actually almost come very close to reaching this peak back over here. Okay, so the question is this: How many of these people were vaccinated? Okay, what about deaths? How many? You see an increase in deaths in, in July. What's interesting is Israel and and uh, Israel and Sweden also have seen an increase in cases and deaths. Uh, not not uh, cases, Sweden, not so much deaths, but you know, Israel and uh, and Spain seeing increases in deaths and cases. How many of these people were vaccinated? And we can, we can only hope that these the vaccine reduced these number total number of deaths here. Okay, that's the best we can hope for at this point, and, and we'll probably never know, of course. Now, here's here's a very sobering fact. Okay, this is case total cases by year. Okay, so uh, so in nine months, nine and a half months, cases in 2021 passed the number of cases in 2020. Now this this is about 11 months here. Okay, this is about 12 months because the first case is in, in yeah. So in nine months. The number of cases in the U.S. have passed the number of cases in, in the, for the for the for the for the 12 months of 2020. Now here, here's where I'm holding out a glimmer of hope. These again, these are these are total deaths by year. This is again, this is September. This was the number for for 2020. At about what what 400,000 maybe. Okay. I'm still holding out hope that, that, that the vaccine will reduce the deaths enough so 2020 deaths will be less than 20. So the 2021 deaths will be less than 20. That, that's, that's my hope and my prayer, okay? Now let's, take, let's compare the numbers for 2020 and 2021. If you, look from, if you look from the period from July to July, they're almost a mirror image. 
okay, for, for cases. And from July to July, it's almost the same thing with deaths. Okay, it's a mirror image. And what we see here is, again, you know, why do we have these big spikes here? Are U.S. cases being reported? I mean, I almost, I almost hate to look at this. <laughs> I almost hate to look at this. Uh, No. For whatever reason, we just see a big dip. Okay, good. I was afraid they may have been playing some money, playing some games with the numbers again. Okay, but anyway, so here you can see the numbers. You can see on uh, September 15th, we had 166,284 cases. Let's zoom in here a little more. You can see for, uh, for the seven day period ending September the 9th or the 8th, we were averaging 15,159 cases per day on average. What about deaths? We can see on uh, September the 15th, we had 2,678 deaths reported. But for, for the seven-day period ending September the 7th, we were averaging 1,624 deaths per day. Now, again, you can see these numbers here. And the question is, how many of these people were vaccinated? Okay. And how many of these people were vaccinated? But again, let's be optimistic and think that the reason that, that, that the COVID vaccine is holding these numbers down somewhat. Okay. Let, let's be optimistic and see that the COVID-19 vaccine is holding down the deaths somewhat. Okay. Monthly cases. Well, September is already halfway up August. It's past these three number, these four, these five numbers here. Maybe even past the sixth number, the sixth one there. Okay, for cases. Deaths, you know, deaths to twenty-five thousand last month. Twenty so far, twenty-five so far for this month. Um, that's still a lot better than this here, but it is it is above these four numbers right there. Okay. What this is now, now you know, the, 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 you know, take this with a grain of salt. It's a very rough estimation. So, so let's, let's say what this means for every hundred thousand person. Let's say we have somewhere between thirty and fifty people as affected with COVID nineteen for every hundred thousand people in the U.S. What about deaths? Well, you can look here. Deaths is above. So right now, let's 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 just say it's uh, well. This is probably one seven five. So let's just say. Let's just say right now, uh, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., uh, uh, one half person's died from COVID-19. These are the cumulative total numbers to date. What we're looking for here and we're not seeing is a flattening of the curve. Okay. A little bit of flattening, but you can see that the, the deaths are continuing to turn up. So what's the, what's the overall picture for, for America today, folks? Um, boy, it's, um, well, we should be, there should be, again, there should be no surprise. There should be no surprise that uh, COVID-19 cases are going up. Uh, you can look at, we can look at the increase in the deaths and we can, we can hope and pray. When I say prayer, I'm being very sincere about that, that the COVID-19 vaccine is holding down the number of deaths. That fewer people in the U.S. are dying of COVID-19 because of the vaccine program, particularly with the senior citizens over the age of 70 or even 65, okay? Because those are the groups, the, the, the people still at the highest risk of dying are still 65 and older, okay? Anyway, again, thanks so much for stopping by, America. Hey, don't forget to click that share button. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter today. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow with an updated report.